This is William Travis Academy, Mr. Tristan Boyd's class. And what's your dog's name? Rob. Rob? Oh, very cool. Is he part of the group? Yes. Oh, so well, that's very nice. All right, now who is your spokesperson? We are all. You're all. Oh, you're going to take turns. Well, do you want me to bring the microphone over there then? Here, why don't we do this? The one thing we don't want to do, though, is we don't want to be in the middle of the screen in case something's on the screen so the judges can see what's on the screen. So some of you get over there and some of you come over here. How's that? Okay? Who's going to be first? You are? Okay. Whenever you're ready, you go ahead. We started our business, Candles and Canines, because we wanted our customers to feel loved and appreciated. Our candles are handmade, made from recycled materials, affordable and aromatic. Our dog treats are all natural, no preservatives, affordable, and they're so good that the students prefer them over school lunch. <laughs> we were selling these products to students, faculty, parents, and visitors at our school, William E. Travis. We sold our products in front of our school auditorium because that is near the entrance where most of the where traffic from each grade passes by. We advertise our product by speaking on the morning announcements and by putting up posters everywhere. And even sending emails to all the parents in the school. And if you were to donate crayons, we would give you 10% off your purchase. And these are some of the email blasts. Um, for branding of our product, we have this really adorable dog fabric. We have elegant, sophisticated jars. We have a multitude of vibrant colors for our candles, and we have vivacious smells. For the dog treats, we have bone-shaped dog treats. We have really cute bags that we sell them in. They're easily edible, and they appeal to dogs. things that make our products different from what is on the market currently. For example, our candles are handmade and also made from recycled materials, such as crayons. They're also affordable and aromatic. Our dog treats are all natural and have no preservatives, and they're also affordable and, an added bonus, they're edible for humans. <laughs> To make one candle, we spent about one dollar, and most of the wax came from broken and donated crayons. The mason jars were also donated. Each dog tree only cost five cents to create. We put five dog treats in each bag, which makes them 25 cents each. For the small candles, they cost two dollars and fifty cents, and for the large ones, three dollars. Our dog treats are one dollar for a pack of five. Our competitor is from Walmart, which is three dog bakery liquid crunch dog treats, which cost eight dollars, approximately eight dollars. And our, with, with the unit price is one cent for us and one and six hundredths for them. So ours is a little cheap. We, we broke even following our first sale. We actually made a profit of forty dollars. We are thinking about using the profit to buy more supplies and we are donating 15% of our profit to the Animal Rescue of Texas, which is $11. Uh, to grow our company, we are planning to make different kinds of treats and put frosting on them to make them look better than they are. We are also trying to find ways to spread our name around and sell in more places, like a farmer's market. And uh, one way we're doing this is that we have a website. And it's just, uh, it's just starting, but we're going to uh, hook up sales to it so people can buy it online. Is that it?
So this is Rom, he's a golden retriever, and we're going to demonstrate how much he likes our dog treats once we get him. Why don't you walk up? Here, why don't you get the dog treat up Nelda is taking you a sample of our candles. Judges, do you have questions? Now we're going to get a couple of questions from the judges if they have any. Mark or Angel, anything? Uh, I'm curious to know about your production. Uh, who's actually producing them? Where are you producing them? And you know, just what's the production line on? Well, we have candle makers. We and we all can make the candles. We also all make the dog treats. We usually take them home to work on, but we so we get started at school after school. And we sell them at school. We sell them at school as well. We have a assembly line where some of us keep the crayons. Oh, okay. My, uh, we have we have an assembly line. Some of us break the crayons, we put them into Dixie cups, and then some of us keep the crayons and pour them into uh, mason jars. Do you have a question, Brad? Who maintains and monitors the uh, website? Grayson does. Oh, yes. Do you uh, have a logo or anything? Uh, we're still trying to create a logo. And once we do, we're going to put it on our product. Do you have any uh, future plans for adding any more products to your, to your line? Yes, we are actually going to do more than just the regular flavor of dog treats, like a special breath flavor, um, a, dog, a dog treat that helps with your dog's allergies, and... Um, we also have uh, feature plans for um, a different design for our candles. And we also have numerous amounts of scents that we are planning to create for our candles. Outside of the website and uh, the farmer's market, would you approach PetSmart or any of these places? No. Do you plan to? Yes. When this competition is over, will you continue your business? Yes. Any other questions? What was the most the fun? The most fun was working as a team and making the candles and dog treats. Where do you make them? School, in our classroom, and at home. Any more questions? <laughs> 